Hi folks, and I'm just going to make a few little balls with some different sort of rims on them, different edges on them. So we're going to start off just by throwing some just simple shaped balls first. And put a few different designs on the rim. So I'm just going to centre it up quite upright. simply just stretch it out and roll over the rim a little bit so what I'm going to do with this one first is I'm just going to make some little like a little scalloped edge on this one we'll do three different ones Simply what I'm going to do, using my middle finger, is to just nip down on the edge like so, just squashing it down, all the way around. Dead easy, when you get to about here you can just sort of gauge where they'll all fit, so they're all equally spaced. So that's one little idea, just a little scalloped edge. It does look quite good when the when the glaze bleeds down. So the next one I'll do, I'll do like a little double spouted edge thing. Throw the same shape bowl. I'm just going to pick some spouts in it like you would a put a spout on a jug or something like that. There you go, and that's that's quite a nice, quite a nice effect. It gives a nice sort of design. It doesn't serve any purpose, but it just makes it look pretty good. thing this time. So 
And what I'm going to use this time is a little little brush handle like that, a piece of wood. That'll give like a sharper sort of edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw it through my fingers, like so. This gives a really nice effect. It couldn't be easier. Make sure you keep your thing wet. So again, coming out the last two, so I'll just judge it, so they fit in, like so. I so that's quite a nice, quite a nice effect. A little pointy thing. I'll try another one. are all from the same shape ball. So what I'm going to do this time is make some little scallops but accentuate them and then use the brush handle afterwards to accentuate them a little bit more. So you can see what I'm doing, just like it's just like making little lips all around the rim. Again, okay, when we get to here, just try and judge it so they're all equally spaced. And now what I'm gonna do is using the paintbrush handle again, I'm just gonna pinch pinch in and squeeze out with the with the paintbrush. Which is similar to the last one, but it's just slightly different. And for real overkill, you can do it on the inside ones as well. show you this one this is a bit of a zigzaggy shape one like a star shape as you can see let's try anything they're all quite effective so that's four different bowls all using the same sort of technique little paintbrush little sculpt bit and then the simple one at the start so that's it give them a try